Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the foliage editor properly in Unreal Engine. And so I'm going to be using the landscape that I made in a previous tutorial, which I'll link in the description below and put on screen now. And I'm also going to be using the foliage off of the Unreal Marketplace in the Open World Demo Collection. And the Open World Demo Collection, uh, they made a really good animation sequence in it, and they've basically given you all of the assets they used in that and it's very good. Now it's quite big and you literally just get it by going onto Unreal Engine on the marketplace, search for Open World Demo Collection and it'll be in your library and then scroll down into your vault and just hit add to project and then the project you're on. And I've already done this so let's get right into it. So it may take a while to add and once you've added it you're just going to come back to the engine and you'll see a new folder here called Kite Demo. So if we just open this up and we'll have loads of different things. We're going environments, cliffs, cliff one, we then have a static mesh and material for the different cliffs that we might want. So I'm not going to do a proper full on showcase of the assets in this as there are quite a lot. It's very good though but like I said there's quite a lot and that's not the main purpose of this tutorial. So yeah again this is a cliff. The shades haven't compiled yet but again I won't be going over all of these. But as you can tell there's a lot of good stuff in this uh, folder you can download. So I'll just get rid of this and go back into the foliage. So if we just go back to Kite Demo and go back into Environments and what I'm going to do is start with the foliage and I'm going to go to Grass and a Field Grass and here we are. And whenever we're doing this we want to use the static mesh so SM underscore Field Grass 01. And to start with the foliage we can go to the Modes tab up here, go on that and then go to Foliage like so, let it load. And then what we're going to do is drag our foliage into here where it says Drop Foliage here. So again you want the static mesh and it's just going to drag and drop that in there like that. And then if we just select it, we can change a load of options down here. So we can change the density, the radius. If you want it to just place down one, you take a single instance like this. And to you can change the sizes of them. So it's not all the same. It's not all uniform and stuff. So we'll go through that. So what we're going to do is I want the density to not be too much. So I'm going to set it to, let's say, 25. And then the radius I'll keep as zero. And the scale I'm going to set to 0.5 to 1.5 just to get a bit of variety in there and the Z I'll leave that at the same for the grass and I think that's all I'm going to change for the grass again you can then also change the mobility the shadows all of this but and, and the collision so if you don't want them to have any collision or you do want some collision you can change it for all of them down here and different uh, physics and all this good stuff and you can just change the mesh there if you want to keep all the settings the same so once you've done that, you're simply just going to paint it in like you were painting a landscape. So you can just left click and drag to put some in. And now on the first time you do this, it will take a little bit of time as it's just loading it in for the first time. So you then have that and you need to let it compile the shaders to make it look nice. And again with this one that I've downloaded, it has automatically like animated the grass so it sways in the wind and stuff like that. Again, you just need to let it load, there we go, like this. Now you can you can see it's doing that. I'm going to up the density a little bit to 50, and then we can just drag that out. And I would just set it back to default of 100. You can do this. And now it's nice to have dense grass, but you don't want it too dense because then it will just be quite demanding on your PC. But I showed sure it looks like a bit denser. Set it to 200. There we go. And you can see up here we've already got over a thousand pieces of grass, which is what I mean by very quickly in a small area it can be quite demanding. So I'll just let these shaders compile, and I'll get in the game. I'll hit play to have a look up close what they look like. So there we go, the shades have now compiled, so if I hit play, I can go in over here and see all the grass is in here now. As you see, it kind of sways in the wind like it's been blowing about a bit. And this looks quite good. And again, you can up the density as much as you like. So it does cover the whole grass, uh, the whole ground, sorry, or as much as you like. But this looks good. Again, I'll just up, up to maybe 400, do that. And if you also want to delete some, so you get rid of them, you just hold down shift and then left click, that erases it like that. And that doesn't do a certain density, that just, does, that just does anything in the area of that circle. So like that, or up here, you can just hit erase, do that, paint, and there you go. And now let's try it with trees as well. So if we go back to environments, and then trees, and then I'm going to do hill tree 02, so we get that, and then just again, drag that into the foliage up here, so drag the static mesh, should have the blue line, just 
drag it there. Again, it might take a bit of time to load as just because it's the first time you, you're using it in this project. But once it's loaded for the first time, it should be fairly quick every other time. Well, it should be instantaneous pretty much every other time. So once that's loaded, all you'll have up in the top left here is the grass and also the tree. Now this might take a while to load, so you might have to leave it for a while just to load. But once it's loaded, again, you can just use it as quickly as you need and instantaneously. It's just the first time load, which takes a while. So again, we're just going to mess about with some settings. So density, I'm going to set to actually, I'll say about 10 for the trees. We don't want it as dense. And also, just to test it out, up in the top up here, you can see that both of these boxes are checked. So that means it's going to paint both of these at the same time. So if I do that, it will paint the trees and the grass. If I untick the trees, it will paint just the grass. If I untick the grass but tick the trees, it will paint just the trees like that. So actually, I think density of 10 is quite nice. I might set it to maybe 7. See what that looks like. That's quite good. Yep. And you see it's random each time the, where the placement of them. The radius I might just put to maybe five as well, just be a bit more spread out like that. And then if we go down, we're going to again set the scale. So, because as you can see here, these are all the exact same size. So, if I set the scale to let's say 0.4 and 2, we'll see that we can then get quite a big difference in the size of trees that we get. So, it looks just looks a lot more natural and a lot better. So, you go, we have a really small one there and there's some quite big ones next to it. It just looks a lot better and a lot more natural. So actually I might just lower the density again just a tiny bit in the density so I would put it at 5 and 25 like that. Just looks a little, a little better I think. So you can just paint like that and it will just put them down and it looks really good. So it's very quick and easy to just get something which looks very nice like that. And then if we paint it on the side of a mountain that we have here you can see that it will go off at an angle like that. So if we just untick align to normal and then go, we can see that they are now all just facing directly up instead of at random angles. So if I just get rid of those, you can see that they just all face straight up like they should be, not just going off at a random angle. So again, if I untick it, I go off like that. If I tick it again, I'll just go straight up. It looks just a lot better, like so. The random yaw is obviously the way they're rotated, so you can see they rotate randomly. If we just untick that, it will all face the exact same direction. So again, you want that ticked so that they are completely random. It just looks a lot better. And you can just mess about with the angle that you want, so set it like that. Obviously that's then rotated like that, which isn't what you want, so I'd say keep it at zero. It's a good angle that you want. And then the ground slope again is just what we have over there. So again, mess about with these angles and the heights for different ones that you want. And you get all the basic ones again, so the shadows and collision and all that. But they're the basic ones that you need to know. So again, if we tick both of these, then it should be able to paint them both at the same time. So we can just make a little nice forest kind of landscape over here. Very easy, you can just paint it out and obviously you can make the radius bigger. So you can change the actual brush size and density up here as well and the erase density. If I just make it a bit bigger, I'll keep it at 0.5 density. But I can just then very quickly do that. And that was just incredibly quick and easy. And I've made a forest. And it looks very nice. So if we now hit play, we can see that we have all these trees and grass. And if we go over here, we have just instantly made a nice forest very quickly and easily. It just looks really nice. So like I say, we have the grass on the floor, which is moving about in the wind and stuff. And again, with the trees as well. Obviously I don't think these have a collision, no they don't, but obviously you can add that yourself. But just remember the more you add, the more laggy it will be, especially if they all have collision on them. So you can just do a very simple box collision around them, but again, up to you. This is all very easily customizable, but it's also just very quick and easy to make nice, beautiful looking things like this. So I think that'll be it for this video. We've done the thing we wanted to do. We've easily set up and customized the foliage editor to get exactly what we want and how we want it looking and I think it looks really nice so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed and hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like and subscribe down below so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one